On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three. And they turn the double play. Stepping in the long ball threat. Austin Brock. He's got a couple homers already, so could he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dick. This ball is hammered. Deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. He made him pay for that one. His 80th home run of the season. It's 10-0. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was pretty bad at first. Now here is Tim Lopes. The center fielder. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two to second. That's one. On to first double play. And now here is Austin Brock. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homered three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. Now this one's well hit. Way back there. On its way and out of here. Grand slam. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay. And digging in for San Francisco, Austin Brock trying to do what no player has ever done at this level. He's looking for his fifth homer of the game. I never thought I'd see this moment. I mean, this is unbelievable. This guy gets a chance to hit his fifth home run. Whether he does it or not, this next at bat's a pretty special one. Lopes makes the grab. One pitch and one out. He's two outs away. Elias Diaz digs in now. Now the 01. That one out to right. Ruff makes the play. Runners tagging from second and third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. So up next, Austin Brock. Austin. Right side. Hampson drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. And here's the first baseman, Austin Brock. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the cons. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they add to their lead. It's 8 nothing. We'll do you one better than a tape man. Austin Brock, the next to hit. The first base number 23. Austin Brock. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. A solo shot. Another one in his incredible season. And they add to the lead. It's 9-0. And here is Austin Brock. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Out of line, out towards center. And that's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. 
Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. That'll fire up the dugout, his 39th home run of the season. And they add a pair. It's 11-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn. One away, runners at first and third. Austin Brock, right, the next go, giant man, to go. hit. Austin. That's a base hit, run scores. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nelson Cruz. Crawford at third, Brock at first, one gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning. And they limit the down. 12 nothing. your final here in this one for Chris Singleton. All right, I admit it. I admit it. All right, he's going to make it here. I mean, you know, he, he, he's not harming Killebrew, but it, he's he's going to make it. I'll, I'll give you that. I was wrong. I thought we were basically wasting our time. I, I agree. He's going to have a stint. He's going to have a career. He's going to help us win some games. I'll give you that. Let's take it easy a little bit. We've always overhyped him, but I probably downsized it too much myself. So I admit that we have a baseball player. Thank goodness. One gone runner at first. And now the first baseman, Austin Brock. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. To second, there's one on the first double play. And that's the inning. David Peralta at the play. Batting second. The left fielder. David Ground ball right side could be two. Steps on the bag for one. Goes to second, safe there. Next is the speedy first baseman, Dominic Canzone. The first baseman, Dominic. Three, two. On the ground to short could be two. Behind his back to second, double play. And that'll do it. Here's some real power at the plate. Austin Brock. The first base Austin. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Hit hard, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Well, that's going to keep the streak going. There's no stopping this guy. And I can't even imagine the pressure he's under. He's asked about it every day from everyone, not just the media, but just anybody he comes across. And so for him to be able to concentrate, keep on getting the knocks, just remarkable. And I know he's trying to just win ball games, but honestly, this streak is arguably bigger than the team right now. And now it's Wilmer Flores. The one two. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got it. And the inning is over. So the Giants leave one. And we are still back here in the desert. Here's a big power threat. Austin Brock. Leading off for the Giants. The first baseman. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Ripped on a line and makes the grab. And there's one away. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet and it just. And up next for the Giants, Austin Brock. This guy has turned into a beast. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there on its way, gone. Power versus power right there. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. A 5-3 final score in this one. Austin Brock, the next giant to hit. Brock having a huge season comes into the day leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories shoots a line drive single into right center and that keeps the inning alive runner at first with two away and now Nelson Cruz he's not going to get cheated up there no he's not he's looking to do damage with every swing he takes and the right hander deals. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Third out. One left for San Francisco. And now the David Peralta at the plate. Walker on at first. Nobody out. No left fielder. Ground ball could be two. And he takes it himself for the out. A well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Go ahead, run on base. And up next for San Francisco, Austin Brock. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A two-run homer. Another one in his... Wilmer Defoe stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Deal two. Wilmer Defoe. Towards first. And he handles it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. So digging in, Austin Brock. He had a big swing back at the fourth. The two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boog. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth. A great feeling off the bat. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Nerd Herd Assemble! Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away down. And now it's Wilmer Flores. One and two now. Swings and misses. And the inning is over. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fast. David Peralta stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Now back. 
No left field. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's... Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. Austin Brock will hit next. Fouled off to the right. Righty to the plate. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. He'll touch them all. And we're level. It's 4-4. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. And now it's going to be Cattell Marte for the fourth time tonight. Second baseman, Cattell. To the right side, Brock takes it himself. That ends the inning. So up next, Austin Brock. He's provided a couple of memorable moments already today. Yeah, Boo, two impactful home runs, and the second one came in the eighth inning. This guy's swinging a red-hot bat in this one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Leaping try, but it's off his glove. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Nelson Cruz, the next giant to hit. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. And he grounds one to the right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Marte throws the first in time. Out number two, and another run comes in. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Right-handed reliever. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. The throw to first, and that is that. And welcome back. We're at extras here. Here's the center fielder, number nine. The center fielder. Number nine. Swing and a pop-up. Cruz under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. The final run score for the ballgame tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Eight runs on eight hits. One down. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Austin Brock. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the... Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. He'll circle the bases. Another one in his incredible season. It's 2-0. And next is the designated hitter, Wilmer Defoe. And the pitch. The designated hitter, Wilmer Defoe. Swing and a pop-up. Brock makes the grab. And there are two down. And digging in for San Francisco, Austin Brock. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. He swings and fouls one off. Come on, let it fly right here. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. 
pulls it in on the warning track. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Not fooled at all right there. He was... Base is empty with two away. Number nine stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Tapped softly on the ground. He'll do it himself, and that is the inning. So first and second with one man gone. Now it's going to be Austin Brock. Austin. That one ripped right center field. That's back. Up against the wall and makes the catch. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up a base. And up next for the Giants, Austin Brock. And it was a homer back in the first Austin. inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. His fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Swung on, popped up, left side. And the infield fly rule call. Up next for the Giants, the second baseman, Will Flores. So bases loaded with one away. Wilmer Flores getting ready to hit. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a ball popped up. Now that designated hitter, Darren Ruff. So now the DH spot, Darren Ruff. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. 2-2. Two -two. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. That ends the frame. So they look. Man at second with one away. Stepping in the long ball threat. Austin Brock. He's already homered in this game. On the ground right side. Dives but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Just a huge at bat right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Nelson Cruz, the next giant to hit. First and third, one down. Next pitch is popped up. Ahmed puts it away, and there's two away. So two outs with runners on the corners. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Out to short. Ahmed gets it to first. Out number three. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Diamondbacks eight and the Giants six. One down, runner at first. Down the third baseman, Buddy first Kennedy. Baseman number seven, Buddy Kennedy. On the ground, two ball, Flores. Off balance beat, there's one. Over to first, safe. Triple digit wins, 100 wins. That's hard to even look at. You kind of blink your eyes to make sure that. This is early in his career, and he's lighting it up. He's causing waves around the game. We're thrilled to be joined by Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. Ken, you see him, what we're seeing? Is he a star already, or are we getting ahead of ourselves? What do you think? 
no, no. I mean, you know, he's having a great year so far. I, I, you know, we hope that he can continue. That's the the whole thing is we want you to continue. You want you. It's 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 not a sprint. It's a marathon. And uh, you know, hey, he he's doing some things early, and we're excited about it. I think that's what uh, you know, baseball fans around the world want to see is a guy who is going out there, playing hard, showing excitement, having some fun, and enjoying the game of baseball. Do we know how long this is going to last? No, but while we're here, we might as well enjoy it. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome to Austin Brock, the next giant to hit. Batting third, the first baseman, Austin Brock. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Gritchick gets under it and puts the squeeze on that. Runner tagging for third. Not in time. He's safe. No score here in the second. On the ground left side, six, four. And he'll be safe at first. Austin Brock, the next giant to hit. The first baseman, number 23, Austin Laser could be extra bases. Crawford around third, and it's off the wall. One run across. Blackman hurries it back in, and the runner holds it third. And now, Nelson Cruz. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The pitch. In the air, right field. Blackman pulls that one down. Runner tags from third. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. It's 2-0. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job driving that run from third. Next is the designated hitter, Wilmer Flores. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Runner at third, two gone. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Left hand batter waits. Tapped out in front of the plate. On the run, throw to first. What a play to end the inning. Man at first with one gone, and now it's Elias Diaz. Up next to Colorado. Line drive, caught. Race to the bag, but he's safe. Good job to avoid the double play. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Austin Brock. Leading up for the Giants. Cool. The baseman, Back to work. Austin Brock. Liner to second and picked on the hop to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And up next for San Francisco, Austin Brock. The first baseman, number 23, Austin Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. We all saw it was hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. Now the Giants four hitter Nelson Cruz. Lined and that's a base hit. Listella around third. He'll score easily. It's seven one. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there but he squared it up pretty good and he kept it inside the line and just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. 
And now it's the Giants DH. Wilmer Flores, one for three. Get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. The pitch. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. One out, base is loaded. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. To me, 